The last major shift in aircraft was over 60 years ago with the jet age. Before that was the dawn of powered flight over 100 years ago. New propulsion technology drives revolutions in our industry, and electrification is the newest type of propulsion that will enable another step change in aviation. That makes it the biggest opportunity we've seen in the last half a century. Amp Air, our mission is to be the world's most trusted developer of practical, compelling electrified aircraft, bringing the great technologies that have electrified ground transportation into aviation and doing some real good for the world while we're at it. Electrification solves some of the biggest challenges that aviation faces. We're able to decrease the pollution and CO2 emissions. We're able to make quieter planes that are less burdensome on communities. We're able to bring down the cost of operating a plane. Aviation currently emits about 3% of global greenhouse gas emissions. Unabated, the trends show that it could be upwards of 10 to 20% of greenhouse gas emissions by 2050 if we don't do something different. So at Ampere, we're taking electric vehicle systems, batteries, power electronics, motors, and we're integrating them into airplanes in order to make those airplanes electric or hybrid electric. So today we're upgrading existing planes. These planes are already flying in fleets. They're the ones that we're flying with airline customers already. And by upgrading that existing fleet, we're enabling planes that exist to operate with sustainable technologies. The next phase is where we actually look to tomorrow. Those are the planes that are fresh off the factory line, integrating into OEM manufacturing processes. And then finally, we take all of this great technology and having learned about the integration and certification performance. We integrate and design clean sheet planes. Those clean sheet planes achieve better efficiency and performance than any retrofit or upgrade could achieve. The path of starting with hybridization and retrofitting and upfitting major OEM conventional aircraft is really targeted at entering the market quickly with something that's practical and compelling and useful for consumers. It's not the final end goal, but again, it allows us to enter the market quickly, we believe quicker than most other solutions, and mature all of those subsystems that are gonna bring us along the roadmap to, to zero emission. One of the key advantages of starting with the hybrid solution is we can introduce an aircraft into the marketplace with useful range over a wide range of, of missions that doesn't require a future cell technology. So the airplane that we're flying in Hawaii and the UK, uh, we've measured 31% fuel reductions. We think that when you go fully electric, you can achieve upwards of 90 percent reduction in the emissions of the vehicle. We're currently flying an upgraded Cessna Skymaster, a twin engine aircraft that sits about six people. We're also working on larger planes, for example, the 19-seat Twin Otter. Our demonstration with Mokalele Airlines in Hawaii in 2020 was the first deployment of an electrified aircraft to be operated by an airline in a experimental market survey category. So incredibly exciting opportunity to see how the plane actually operates operates when you stress it as you would a plane in day-to-day -day operations. Multiple round-trip flights with charging cycles, proving out the ecosystem of technologies, the stakeholders, local governments, airports, airlines, charging infrastructure, and of course, the electrified aircraft. On our way to Hawaii, we repositioned our plane here in California and broke the world record for the longest hybrid electric flight, over 300 miles. While in the UK, we broke the record flight again with a 418 mile endurance. We're looking at the next generation of advanced chemistries, lithium ion batteries, as well as other types of batteries that give you increased energy density, increased power, maybe an increased life cycle. Something else that's really concerning in the industry is we're seeing communities shutting down their local airports. And they shut down these airports because of the noise and pollution of the planes that are flying locally. Airports are seen as a burden, not as a benefit to those communities. And it's kind of a shame. We've got a lot of infrastructure. 5,000 airports in the United States. And if you wanted to buy a ticket to one of those airports, you probably could only fly into about 50 of them. Now we, by decreasing the cost of operation, can 
increase the number of flights to all those airports. And if you think of it instead of as an airport, think of it as communities of people who need service, who want to be able to fly to visit their grandmother more frequently. I think the future of aviation is much more sustainable and better for the environment than it is today. I see aviation that's seen as a benefit to communities, that serves all communities, not just high net worth individuals, and that increases accessibility and convenience for all while not negatively impacting the environment.